Hey guys, Pokeballs here. Welcome to Pokemon Moon Black 2. Finally, I decided to give this game a try. And it is time for me to dive into this game. I'm really excited. And finally, I am back to YouTubing. So, that's awesome as well. Really excited for that. And while I explained what I'm, you know, been doing, we can hear that awesome Kyurem, Black Kyurem voice. So actually, it's been my exams, and I did make a video explaining all that, but I couldn't upload it in time. So I thought, let's do a new playthrough. It's going to be short. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be awesome. I've been wanting to play this game since months. It actually came out months ago, and I couldn't play it. It was frustrating. It was hell frustrating. So, finally I'm getting to play this. Exams are over. It was kind of, I guess, okay in a sense. But I couldn't really do my level best. So, Also, guys, I'm using a new recorder OBS. So, please let me know how the videos are looking. I really would love some, you know, feedback on that. It's really going to be... What the heck? But anyway, I am really excited to get into Moon Black. We're just going to dive in. I'm not going to spoil anything right now because I know this video. I know I usually say many things about the game before, you know, I really started the game. There you go. Oh, yeah. Howdy. Welcome to Pokemon Moon Black 2 or Sun White 2. You might be seeing Professor Kukui, but this is J.R. Jr. Fort and Aster speaking. They're the creators, of course. And we got ourselves a moving Sil Valley Sprite. You probably know the basics of this hack. We're looking at new Pokemon, more challenging game, and extra boosts to many weaker Pokemon. Among other features. Otherwise, there's not too much else to say. We hope you enjoy. Unova in a whole new way. As usual, documentation is provided to detail every edited aspect of the game. Be sure to use it if necessary. I only hope this, that you enjoy the new style this hack makes Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2 play. May it be an entertaining experience. Anyway, on with the game. What gender will you be playing as? Okay guys, so I actually tested the girl version out. And... I did play, like, up to the first rival battle, so I'm gonna choose the boy version because, you know, I'm a boy. There's no doubt in that. So, yeah. And we're gonna enter our name in, which is, of course, Pokepals. I like this, uh, keyboard kind of setup. I always use this. There you go, Pokepals. So your name's Pokepals, that's good to know. And oh, hell yeah, Gladian. I think we can keep his name Gladian. I think we can. Yeah, we can keep it Gladian. Did I get it right? Yes, you did. Pokeballs, you'll shortly be given a Pokemon. But you can use whatever you like. Let's get right into it. You should know there are new trainers, so prepare for a harder experience in Unova. OBS right now, uh, while I tested the game out recording, um, it was pretty good. I really liked it. There are separate audio tracks and stuff like that. I'd say it was satisfying enough. And right now we got ourselves this CG cutscene. I really like Pokemon Black, uh, Black and White and Black and White 2 for this. It's just the best experience. For a Pokemon game, if their Pokemon were a little bit more be better designed, you know, Generation 5, I think they would have gotten that amazing, amazing feel X and Y did. And of course, nostalgic purposes for people when, you know, Black and White comes out as a remake in next gen consoles. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, just like how. Pokemon Let's Go is to us. I think people might be there who would be like <sighs> experiencing Pokemon Black and White remakes in virtual reality and so it's kind of 
really just so amazing to you know think about you know Pokemon in virtual reality I guess Pokemon Go is kinda you know trailer for Pokemon Go is kinda like that but still it would be awesome if Pokemon was in VR though maybe I don't know I I don't write I can't say anything so anyway we got ourselves our mom here getting a call from Professor Kukui cuz Juniper is not in this game why Aurea Kukui I mean Aurea why did I see Aurea Juniper it's been far too long what can I do for you well wow, Pokedex for my child why that's great I think a journey would be a wonderful experience what now she's already here Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you decide on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? Big green hat? Got it. Okay, no worries. Also, I'm really sorry for the disturbances in the air and stuff. Because I really can't... I really cannot stand this heat right now. I know it's winter months. But freaking hell, it's kind of getting hot in here. Pokeballs, I'm hot home. Now would be a good time to save your game, honey. That's actually kind of a uh, good advice, considering the fact that game just almost crashed. For some reason, the game is just crashing right now. For some reason, I'm gonna save just in case, you know. Let's save the game and Cabana Bama. Let's do this. We'll check out our trainer sprite trainer card and stuff after this. Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she called me today for the first time in ages. This out of the blue, but Pokeballs, do you want to have a Pokemon? Okay, one step completed. Well, then do you know what a Pokedex is? Hell yeah, we do. I knew you would. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records Pokemon you encounter? Yet another question. Want a Pokedex, right? Yep. Okay, so... Right, right, yeah. We all know this. Yes, I do know. We all know this, guys. We played black and white before. So, let's go to options. Let's change these settings. I guess one setting. Um, let's check out our trainer card. Oh, hell yeah, that looks awesome. Let's see the badge case. Has, is that any change? No. I guess it is still Unova, so... Never mind. But I guess this new st trainer sprite even makes things really, n uh, you know, new, I guess, for some reason. It's still the same as Persia City, but it just feels new. For some reason. Hot Pokeballs! And Hell Gladian looks awesome. I'm sorry the graphics isn't really that great right now, but really probably gonna do something about it later okay really sorry about that right now hey you get a Pokemon yet there aren't any Pokemon trainers around here and I'm getting bored what's that a person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon really Pokemon if you get a Pokemon take really really good care of it okay yeah okay let's get your Pokemon there's something I have to do and to do that, I need someone I can trust my trust besides my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you got good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye bye, Pokepals. Alright. Let's go find that person named Bianca. Let's go. And also I'm using my joystick. This is my first time using my joystick for playing an NDS game. Also, isn't this our first NDS game on the channel? Or is it? I don't... No, NDS ROM hack on the channel. I'm pretty sure I have played Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Nuzlocke's before. Way, way, way before. So, for some reason my joystick is having trouble with that. So, please excuse me. Yeah, it just takes a little time, is all. I'm gonna just speed this up, okay? Oh, 
Oh my god. Huzzah! And so I depart. Enjoy your new challenges. Okay, guys. We are finally here. We are going to get our starters. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I get it. The lookout is Aspergius' most famous spot. I'll bet Bianca's up there looking at the scenery. Come on. Go get your Pokemon already. Okay, guys. It is going to be awesome. I'm... I'm so excited to see the starters because I can't wait because they have moving sprites for the Gen 7 starters. It's so so pretty. Hey there, don't you agree? Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Pokeballs? Uh, I might know a person named Pokeballs. Yeah. Oh wait, you're Pokeballs. Wow, you look you're like exactly what I heard. Nice to meet you. I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Hell yeah. Oh wow, thanks. Wow, it's already eleven minutes? Holy crap. I did not notice that. Guess this will be our first look at Gen 7 Pokemon in, you know, Pokemon Black and White, other than, of course, Sil Valley. And you can see those silhouettes. You can see Rowlet. You can see Litley and Litten. I don't know why I said Litleo, but there's Poplio. Looking pretty cool. Poplio is usually my go-to starter, but let's check out, check out them all. There's the fire type Litten, there's the water type Poplio, and there's the Rowlet. And I have been seeing a little bit of Green Arrow, if you know what I'm talking about. And you know, I really like Litten. And I freaking like Poplio, it's my favorite of the three. Litten's pretty awesome. Uh, Rowlet, I think I'm gonna use him again on this channel. I've used him on Aster Violet. So, and also I'm getting that green, green arrow wipe here. There's no flash, so, you know. Let's go for the, what we get. We get green arrow. So, there we go. We got Rowlet. Oh, wow. You and Rowlet are a perfect match. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to the Pokemon you chose? Hell yeah. And let's see. I am going to name him Oliver. If you get that reference, then hit the like button. If you don't, I can explain. Oliver, um, I'm gonna say it again. If you know this name, then hit the like button again. Uh, Oliver Queen. Anything? Oliver Queen? Okay, forget it. He's the green arrow in the CW Arrow Wars universe, I guess. And, you know was kind of, I guess, clever. I don't know. Pretty sure most people thought of it. Now you got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too. A Pokedex. Okay, that lagged a little bit there. I don't know why, but... Yeah. Yeah, we already know this, so... No need. I just want to see some Pokemon action. Uh, so we're going to quicken things up. Hey, how long are you planning on keeping waiting me? Waiting anyway. Hey, what's that? So that's your partner, huh? It's great. My sister always said so, but really, really, really take good care of it. What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokedex. Please give me a Pokedex too. I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon. That'll make me tough, right? Um, who are you again? I'm Gladian. I'm going to travel the university with my Pokemon in order to search for something very important. Well, okay. I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happen to have another Pokedex on me. Looks like Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years. So, the more the merrier.
Let's see how a good a trainer you are. I'll use my limb that I always wanted. I guess there are some changes in the dialogues, I guess. He did not raise the litten from the egg, I guess. It's and there you go. A really, really awesome trainer sprite. For Gladian they really, really like it. And our trainer sprite is awesome as well. Really cool. And Oliver's attack did, you know, get lowered, and oh my gosh, we're dead. We're not winning this battle, no. We are certainly not winning this battle. I think I actually have a potion in my bag. No, never mind. Keep on tackling, and he does kill us, okay. Doesn't matter, I actually lost every time I started this one. For some reason, this rival battle is kind of tough. Yeah. Cool, I'm heading off first. Get stronger. The Pokemon on both sides did their best, but this one, this little one is still weak. So battle with it, and make it stronger. Alright, let's go to your Pokemon. Uh, go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon who get who battle and get hurt. Okay, we're just gonna skip through this whole thing because it's really not that important for the story or anything, so... Yeah. It's gonna be at least 20 minutes long, even with this cut. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut the whole thing to the Pokemon, you know, catching part. Yeah. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, guys, sorry for cutting off that moment there with Hugh, uh, not Hugh, Gladian's sister and our mother, but really I had to do it. It's not really that important right now, but let's check out Rowlet here. We got ourselves a bold nature Rowlet. Um, I guess defense is good. I don't really know which is. Oh, attack is pretty bad. That's That's not cool. Eh, doesn't matter though. I'm not really that guy in a competitive guy, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's get on with our lives here. And let's oh, okay. Hey Pokemon, can't go without oh your rallet. This is a going giveaway gift. Don't be shy. And we got ourselves a bicycle. Awesome. Awesome, I guess that's awesome because it you know it's kinda early and stuff. And we got ourselves the awesome transition, I guess you would say, to Route 19. Or I guess those bars that show you are on Route 19. It's pretty cool. I really like it. These little features in Pokemon Black and White really make it stand out from the rest of the NDS games. And speaking of which, Diamond is actually one of my favorite games, actually. Diamond... I guess Platinum of the three is pretty good. But Diamond is just kind of nostalgic to me, so... Just a little... Just for that nostalgia purpose, I really like it. Yeah. I guess Platinum is what I would go for if I ever get to Chance, because it has the extra content. And we get some Pokeballs right now, so... I guess we could just check out what Pokemon are here. Maybe we can... Catch some Pokemon right now, so let's just. Ooh, we got ourselves a Pidgey. Nice. But we're not gonna battle it though, because I know I just want to check out what is new in here. And let's save. 
because you know do we don't want that crashing there you go let's just see what's up in here and there's a Badoo here pretty cool pretty cool uh, let's damn it oh god Gotta be kidding me. Okay. I'm really sorry for the lo length there, but I really, really want to see what is in here. We got ourselves a sentry here, which I guess is, you know, new as well, because I'm pretty sure sentry wasn't in the originals. Pretty cool, just like Pidgey. And Badoo, I guess. I mean, Badoo, I guess, was in the code. Uh, I mean, not the code, the area. And Centred, I guess, was in the code, too, I guess. But not available. Ooh, a Young Goose. Might actually catch a Young Goose, because that's not a Pokemon I always get to use. I mean, I'm not going to use it on the team, just obviously. It's a Young Goose. It's not pretty strong, but right now... It's actually a good, good catch, I think. Right now might actually be a good thing to catch a young goose. And it looks kind of pretty strong as well, so we're going to use, oh my god, our 30 Pokeballs. I know I had 30 Pokeballs. But we got young goose. The scout Pokemon, although it will eat anything, it prefers fresh living things so it marches down streets and searches in search of prey I don't know if that's actually the real you know description for young goose but uh, I think that's actually Petrat's description but you know what uh, we're gonna name it sergeant I know that's not that's not the correct spelling I think it's Sergeant? I don't know. I'm really having a tough time spelling Sergeant right now. Because, you know, Scout, Boy Scout. You know what? I'm going to name it Sergeant. Yeah, never mind. I really am kind of tempted to go for, you know, the meme. The meme. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say it, but I'm really tempted to go for the meme. But I'm not going to do it. Young Goose is gonna be named. Oh my god, I can't decide. Oh god. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna name it Stripe. Because it has stripes on his body. I'm gonna name it Stripes. Yeah, I'm stupid. Thank you guys for calling me stupid. And let's check out Stripes. This is, uh, Young Goose. Just one stripe, so. But adaptability is pretty powerful. And it has, okay, decent attack, good defense. Actually good, really good Pokemon. I really think it will be useful in the first few gyms. And first few, I mean, poison type gym. Oliver is going to suck it, so... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching this first episode. It's going to be... Uh, it's been really fun to do this first episode. Thanks for, you know, sticking with me till now, if you did. If you didn't, you're not to fall, guys. I know how I talk. And I know I'm kind of annoying sometimes, so... Thanks for sticking with me until now. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will be checking out Flossessia Ranch. Catch you laters.